What do you want for Christmas? I'd like a hand mixer. I moved out a few months ago and my kitchen doesn't have a ton of room for a big fancy stand mixer. But I discovered that baking is fun and want to do more without making my hands a mess every time. I asked my parents for it and mom, who used to bake all the time, seemed quite interested. So I have a feeling she's going to get it for me. Hey, if she doesn't, you can PM me a link to one you like and I'll get it for you. I didn't have the time to do Secret Santa this year. That'll ease my conscience. Not to cry on Christmas, or like, a lot of key lime pie. A sense of pride and accomplishment. Well I adopted a stray cat so a big scratching post for her would be cool. Also, a new couch because I only have a love seat I grabbed off the street lol. Look around for your neighborhood Facebook page. Post both of those, bet you'll get both. My wife to not have cancer anymore edit. Thank you all so much for the kind words and wishes, prayers, etc. I really means a lot to read these when feeling down. I also choose this man's wife, and cancer can f right off. All my bills paid, yeah, whatever kid is putting awards on things, I'll give you the login to my student loans. Just a bit of help would be appreciated. I hope to someday be in a situation where I could DM someone and send $1000 to someone like you. A job. I lost my job as a gov scientist 9 months ago. It's been rough to say the least. Just a couple weeks ago a random water test from my house revealed that we have 5x the average amount of lead in our drinking water. $18k to fix. So now I'm giving my toddler water from bottles. In the past I would have been able to immediately fix this. Feels pretty low that I can't provide for my family. Eater number 1. Shared proof with you rejoicer to offered to pay for this if I could prove it. I'll let you know if they come through or if they are just a troll. Eater number 2. I'm getting messages from folks asking for an update on you rejoice it. They have my plumber's phone number and the proof I provided and I have offered to message them the invoice number so they can pay them directly. So far I haven't heard anything back. Eater number 3. So today is Monday. 12 stroke 16, and I still haven't heard a word from you rejoice it, but I want to acknowledge and thank all the other editors who really have helped me. Thanks to you peers app is a piece who has offered to help buy a home water filtration system and to use as who offered to bring over some water from his works. Also thank you to UDR Shadow SML for sending me links to employment opportunities this morning. I have been applying to things all day, and to you Grayest for contributing too. If I wasn't so broke I would buy you all gold, but for now I just want to acknowledge you all and say how deeply grateful I am. Thank you everyone for your kind suggestions and offers of support. I feel you. I got laid off from a cushy job 9 months ago and haven't found a replacement since. Thankfully I don't have the same water problems as you. That would suck something fierce. I want a new heart. 3 I'm waiting for a transplant. I hope you receive your new heart. I hope this comment inspires Reddit to become organ donors, and I hope if you read this and you are an organ donor, make sure your loved ones are well aware of your wishes, you never know when you will have the opportunity to save a life. A 500 pieces puzzle, not much, but I would love to make a puzzle and clear my mind, Reddit, freaking wow, thank you so much guys for the awards, also I'm from a pretty small country from Eastern Europe, unfortunately Amazon doesn't work here. Put one that you really like on an Amazon wishlist and I will get it for you. Just PM me the link. You are an awesome being. If you live anywhere near me, I will gladly offer my 1000 piece puzzle. I just lost my brother last Friday. One more conversation with him would be a nice gift. I'm sorry for your loss. Maybe this Christmas make sure to spend all the time you can with your loved ones. Life really is too short. To be debt free and my sister to beat breast cancer. To elaborate on the situation a bit, I'm like most young adults that went to college and are chained to the student loan debt that comes with it. The IT industry that I'm in is going into the direction of contract work so expenses like health insurance are out of pocket while I don't get sick time or holidays off. So Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year one week no pay, money is tight and stressful. As for my sister, She's 42 with physical and mental disabilities and is under the full-time care of my mother. Earlier this year she complained about some abdominal pain and turned out had a mass on her kidney. After a doc visit and then surgery, she was down one kidney with a cancer diagnosis. 
annual mammogram resulted in the discovery of three cancerous masses and now she's on her second round of chemo for that. Meanwhile, my mother has all the emotional weight on her shoulders since my sister doesn't quite understand the seriousness of the situation. So I would like it to be gone so we can get back to the norm. Thanks again for all why all support. Six months ago I was in the best shape of my life, in the gym up to six days a week, I was getting my second diploma and working, bought a brand new car, and life was perfect. Now I've had a bone spur pressing on my sciatic nerve root for just over three months. The doctor thinks it's congenital due to my age, and I likely won't be eligible for surgery for the same reason as it will just grow back and the surgery itself opens the door for a lot of other complications. I can't work, had to quit school, and am forced to live with my retiree parents at 32 years old while I hear mortgage all my life savings on bills. I was supposed to propose to my GF this year and get married when we go to visit her family on the other side of the world in 2020, and even that visit likely won't happen now. I have to shower on my hands and knees and literally have to crawl around the house if nobody's here. The pain is unlike anything I've ever felt. When people say at least you have your health, don't take it for granted. Hey bro, I was in a similar situation. I had a great job making great money and life was perfect. Brain tumor out of nowhere started making me have too many seizures I lost my job and had to move in with my dad. I slowly fixed it. I'm still in debt from my brain surgery but I became eligible for my driver's license again this month because it's been long enough without a seizure. I'm now looking for work again 4 years later. It takes time but things will get better. I lost hope more times than I can count. Don't lose hope for a better future because right now may suck but it won't stay like that. Get a second opinion brother it doesn't hurt to ask. I think what you need is a second opinion. Seems like temporary relief is better than none. Quality of life is a valid reason for a ski surgery. Good advice. Any kind of bone surgery is temporary, as bones continually grow. The reason to avoid it is that the surgery could make it worse. Long term, however, if you are all but non-functioning as it is, the only thing the doctor should be doing is making the risks known, and then recommending anything that might help, even if it's temporary. To hang out with my goblin boyfriend I guess. Gets you a copy of Labyrinth. It's Hoggle. A Red Rider BB gun with a compass in the stock in this thing that tells time. To not be so poor. A hippopotamus. A backdated instant cure for cancer please. Failing that just some company would do, like, Microsoft. Morgan Stanley, added us. What kind of company? Someone to moan to about the crap on TV. Someone to share my Pringles with. Someone to pull a cracker with. Link to the post that made this happen. It got removed for some reason. A do-over of this decade. A new decade is about to begin. And you have the experience of the previous decade behind you to help you succeed. Best of luck. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. But so was yesterday. And look how that turned out. There's some rogue kid with their mom's credit card sorting by new and handing out 100s of rewards or something. I already saw a post with 78 awards and this one has 115. He's getting his parents a credit card bill for Christmas. They'll be so happy. Could be the Reddit admins trying to F with OP to trick others into spam gilding OP like it's normal. Rogue. The word is rogue. Not rouge. Rouge is what you put on your cheeks to make them red. Rouge one. To be cancer free. Same here. And wish nobody else ever has to deal with it. My girlfriend's sobriety. I know it won't come that soon. But I hope and wish for it every single day. I want a happy, healthy holiday season for people who struggle with depression and anxiety and guidance on how best to deal with those conditions in the new year. Meds. Therapy. And remember that depression lies. It absolutely lies and tells you that you can't do things. Can't move. Can't feel. Tell it to go F right off. Tell your friends and family, the ones you trust anyway, so you can reach out for help when you need it. That one helped me get to the point where I went out and got help for myself. Just to get some closure on this relationship of mine ending, but that is unlikely to happen because she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. So my real wish is to be strong enough to move on and accept that she changed and is out of my life. To not have Parkinson's. I don't have insurance to see the doctor. But I'm showing signs and systems. I'm only 28. Happiness. 
for my wife to tell me what she wants for Christmas instead of some vague as opposed to no bullsh, that is some bullsh, but I always make sure my wife has her go-to stuff, tea, good smelling things, usually bath related, flowers are always good, I usually get her some trashy magazines also, and her favorite candies, that way. She at least knows I pay attention to her regular favorite things. So if I screw up the regular present, I'm covered. Looks like Christmas came early this year. So did Santa. MRS. Claus is pissed. She finally got that pearl necklace. A one-way ticket to start a new life somewhere else. Something to eat would be nice. Are you serious? I'd be willing to help out if you are. Unfortunately I am serious and honestly it would mean the world to me. I'm in the UK though and I know a lot of redditors are American so that might make things a little difficult. For my ex-husband to be arrested. For my kids to be safe. For my life to get back on track so we can work on putting everything back in place. Also, a California King foam mattress pad. Thanks Santa. He's been booked on aggravated stalking and three other charges. Last night was the best sleep I've had in weeks. Arrested late last night and even though part of me feels guilty for sending my kid's father to jail, I know it's keeping my girls safe and that's all that matters. To make it home safely to see my family, you will get there safely. Please accept my thoughts of strength and love. Merry Christmas. Please drive safe and take naps at rest stops when you need to. Better to get there late than not at all. For my tuition to be fully covered so I don't have to work while in school. I want my mom to be okay I want my dad and my stepmom to have a good life together I want to help myself get a therapist get tested for depression and anxiety get the help I need help myself as a person get my grades together get myself together just make myself a better person and try to stop myself harm. Oh and see my best friend who I haven't seen in a year. I want to spend the day baking cookies and reading a nice book with my family, husband and cat. I want to sleep and I want to get some fresh air I want to take a nap just because. To the mods, I didn't do this. Please don't remove my post, thanks. Lol why did the other one get removed? That was kinda funny. Yeah WTF I was thoroughly enjoying it. Oh please. He whispered, leave me be, and leave my post approved. It's really not my fault, you see. I only, thread removed, a record player and some good Olay Johnny Cash albums, 114 awards what the f is going on here, I bet it's you a very brave taco with that crazy streak of achievement awards he was giving out last night lol, yeah, he's probably got at least a few hundred bucks worth of coins on his account at this point, happy christmas, I just want to be happy, a day off would be nice, all I want for Christmas is you. Who? Me? I guess. For someone to see this comment and decide to donate a few dollars to a non-profit instead of gilding this post again. Big Tiddy Goth GF. I'm a straight female in a relationship. I've just heard a lot of good reviews. Raise his hand I can vouch for Big Tiddy Goth GFS. They are awesome. 5 out of 5 choker necklaces. In truth, the thing I need in life is not a job, and not a wife, it's not a car, it isn't wealth, it isn't homes or hope or health. In fact, the only thing I need, the only thing I want indeed, is just a thing that simply fits. A goth girl made with massive tits. My mom to be cancer free and not in pain anymore. Seeing as we're all giving ourselves awards I'm gonna treat myself to two whole silvers. Money. To move out of my abusive parents house. The charge is to be dropped. We all know you f and did it. Okay. Before anyone says anything. I didn't do this. It wasn't me. Way to award yourself silver on every post. WTF. Is this a weird group think thing? Or is one person going crazy with the gildings? An upvote. Someone to tell me I am doing a good job. Heck. Even just a comment saying something positive about me. A co-worker bought me a cupcake for my day and I cried. Being a 33 year old single guy that lives alone we don't get enough affection. So yeah a hug or a compliment. I would like for Santa to remove humans ability to dare people. 3 consecutive days off without illness. And leisure if possible. Better health for someone I know. I kinda wanna see what reddit gold is like. Your two front teeth. I kinda want a kitten, but my three cats don't love the idea. 
I want a big titty redhead girlfriend named Emily who enjoys baking cake with me and playing Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. It's funny but I know a girl named Emily that fits the description. 10% of comments. Normal answers. 90% of comments. WHAT is GOING on Hiri? To be fair, this is just silly.